on YouTube Nation. This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I'm going to explain to you that I went, I threw some play money in. And I always tell you guys, I'll take a risk, see what happens. Remember, I am an income investor. Now, you don't have to buy this because I buy it. And there's a huge risk. It can go really well or really bad. So you have to do your due diligence with one. I just felt like throwing $1,000 in this very cheap REIT. Um, there's a lot of possibilities and potential for it. I'm going to explain to you my rationales. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell so don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check out this REIT right now. So the REIT I actually went after was Invesco Mortgage Capital, IVR. I did own IVR at one point. And I sold them, and they did a 10 for 1 reverse stock split when they hit rock bottom due to, I'm going to blame the pandemic, because at one point they were doing phenomenal. So I felt like throwing $1,000 in, see what happens, reinvest the dividends, take a risk. Again, this one's really risky. It can blow up in your face, so you have to be aware of that. Sitting at $9.15, look at the past five years, rock bottom. Completely, I'm going to completely blame the pandemic. The average volume is 827.28K. The market cap is 446.75 million US dollars. Year range is 634 to 1237. Day range is 892 to 916. Previous closes 887. So let's go over them as a company real quick. So on their website, they state that they are a real estate investment trust that acquires, finances, and manages residential and commercial mortgage-backed securities and mortgage loans. Their objective is to provide attractive risk-adjusted returns to the shareholders, primarily through dividends, but also through capital appreciation. Their advisory team at Invesco Advisors follows a disciplined, thorough, proven, and collaborative process, one that recognizes that change is constant and the best opportunities are discovered through relentless analysis and research. These independent thinkers are tireless in the pursuit of high risk adjusted returns through a portfolio of residential mortgage backed securities for which a US government agency or a federally chartered corporation guarantees payment of principal and interest, residential mortgage backed securities that are not issued or guaranteed by a government agency. Commercial mortgage backed securities, residential and commercial mortgage loans. So, I want to go over a few things. And again, they did a 10 for 1 reverse stock split. A reverse stock split is never a good thing. I don't care what people say. This has happened with TSLY. Maybe TSLY will eventually get back there. But again, with IVR, they hit rock bottom at a certain point, and I did buy them when they hit rock bottom, and I sold them. I think I got a little bit of a profit. Don't quote me on that, but I'm back buying them. And again, I threw $1,000 in, see what happens, not touch it, see what happens, because I want to go over the revenue trends with IVR and go over some of the changes that are going on. So I'm going to go over the revenue trends on macro trends. This is quarterly and this is um, annually. So let's see, 2019, there were 202, 196, 193, 2020, 187. Then the pandemic hit, they hit 30 and 27. That was real bad in September-ish. Then they cracked 36. Okay, this is millions of US dollars. 40 right here, 43 in 2021. Then in September 43, 2021, 43, 2022, 42, 2022, 45, and then 930, 50, 12, 31, 58, 2023, 69, 2023 and 630, 71, and then a 930, 75, and then in 12, 31, 62, but I want to show you the improvement in revenue, and I'll go over the most recent trends as well. So 2018, 643, 
2019, 778. 2022, 80. 2021, 169. 2022, uh, 195. 2023, 278. This is their annual revenue in millions of US dollars. So just by going with these trends, I'm going to take a risk. And I'll go over the most recent revenue trends. Again, 90% with a real estate investment trust, 90% plus what they make have to go back to investors. So remember that when it comes to real estate investment trusts. Now, I like high yield, high dividend growth stocks. So I have a hybrid, I'm an income investor as well. So throwing in $1,000 to see what happens, I'm okay with that. If it goes to zero, I'm okay with that. I'll take the risk. I have play money to put to throw around a little bit again i tell you guys i take risks with certain things arbor realty trust when they when they hit rock bottom pretty much during the pandemic i went all in and i made really good money this one is still a risk arbor realty trust is still a risk i don't give financial advice it's entertainment purposes only but as an income investor I might as well capitalize on this and see what happens. So let's go to the most recent trends. Based on Google.com, the revenue has been up 27.47%. That is important. Okay, remember funds for operation, funds for operation, funds for operation for real estate investment trusts. You don't care about PE, you care about funds for operations. That's very important. So I'm going to jump to the dividend history. So I just want to go over. They're not completely consistent. So consistency is not, you know, it's something that if you look at them versus Procter & Gamble, Procter & Gamble is way more consistent. I'm relying more on Procter & Gamble long term than I am for somebody like this. But this is not bad to get some decent income. Throw maybe throw its income into my M1 finance dividend portfolio. Use its income to pay for utilities or something. So it's still not a lost cause. So look at the quarterly dividends: 2012, 2013, 65 cents; 2013, 50 cents; 2015, 45 cents. Whoa! Then 2016, 40 cents. Then 2017, 41 cents. 2018, 42 cents, and it cracked 48 cents in September, and then it was to 42 cents. In 2019, it was doing really well, 45 cents, and then 50 cents. Then comes the pandemic, and then the dividends, 2 cents to 5 cents to 8 cents to 19 cents. Then you see this um, 90 cents. I'm pretty sure that's right when the reverse stock split happened, the 10 for 1. Remember, reverse stock splits are not a good thing. Then 2022 is 65 cents, 2023, 40 cents. So, again, their dividend growth in five years, pandemic killed them, 39 point, negative 39.12%. The dividend increases in the last five years is five. That is a high yield, so you have to be aware of the risk. That's why I'm only throwing a little bit of play money in. And the dividend yield 17.49%. So if you bought one share, you made $1.60. So I will even show you on E-Trade that I made a purchase with them. So right now I'm at 112 shares of IVR. I actually made a little bit of a profit. Total gain 2.29%. Not going to expect that to be amazing. Because, you know, again, I'm going after the real estate sector and financial sector. So um, you have to be aware of that. Okay. So right here, again. I'm at $1,025, a little bit of a profit, but let me show you my estimated income in theory if things go well. So if things go well with IVR, I'll make $44.80 quarterly. Now this is a risk. I'm telling you, you have to be aware of the risk with IVR. I'll throw $1,000 and see what happens. Could be great, could be bad. I'm only throwing a thousand in, seeing what happens, leaving it alone. I just wanted to be transparent with you guys that I am rebuying IVR. 
If you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I will jump to my disclaimer. Have a great Memorial Day. Take care. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use my YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. Again, this one's a big risk. You don't have to buy it because I buy it. Okay? Investing is a big risk. You have to do your due diligence. It is best to seek financial advice from a financial advisor. Go to a financial advisor for financial advice. Don't go to me. Go to a tax advisor for tax advice. Don't go to me. I do not give financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. This is my dividend investing journey. Yes, I did throw in a thousand dollars with IVR. I'm very transparent with that. I can lose a lot of money with IVR. So I'm aware of the risk. You have to be aware of the risks in anything that you buy. You take care and have a great Monday. Make sure you do your due diligence. Go see a financial advisor. Take care.